Ann Coulter, here she is. He's upsetting, annoying, <laughs> driving crazy all the people in the Republican Party and, quote, conservative movement, whom I want to upset, annoy and irritate. I mean, they've been acting for 20 years like they're the smart half of the team. No, they have completely betrayed the American voter, completely. Americans don't want immigration. They don't want any more. Why can't we have a home? Everybody else can have a home. You see, you know, National Geographic and, oh, the indigenous people, and they love their home. I'm going home. Now, we're the only people on earth who aren't allowed to have a home. But you're, you're a country of immigrants. If someone oh, had, we are not. If someone had said that <laughs> about um, Jewish immigration into New York a century ago, Oh, God, Would you have approved of it? Again. That, that, the that's Germans, like 2% of the, Irish, the pop Well, in fact, I, I mean, that's like 2% of the population. That did not overwhelm our culture. Yeah, we take immigrants, but we have pauses every once in a while. We're being overwhelmed. You've been out here in California. People, you go to neighborhoods, people aren't speaking English. So we're at what you see as the central issue of this campaign, namely immigration. 100%. Now, how long do you think it would take to build a 30, 40, 50 foot wall along 2000 miles of American terrain. And if the president of Mexico says, I'm not going to pay for it, what then happens? Just take us through the practicalities. Well, if only we had a master developer who had built 100 story buildings where you can flush the toilet and eat creme brulee on the 110th floor. If only we had someone like that running for president. And by the way, who cares if Mexico pays for it? But you bet they're going to pay for it. <laughs> Why should they? Why should they? Because he's right. They have been sending rapists, drug dealers. I mean, this entire heroin problem, which is a huge, huge problem in America right now. It's sickening the number of, of people who are dying from overdoses and just wrecked lives, wrecked communities, wrecked states. That is 100% a problem of having Mexico on our border. Immigration is the issue the voters have been defied on for 20 years. I mean, both Republicans and Democrats have tried to slip through amnesties three times in the past well, 10 years. But, 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 it got shut down by the American people calling in and shutting down the switchboards. The, How many times do we have to tell them we don't want amnesty? Well, the last amnesty that was introduced in America was by Ronald Reagan in That's 1986. Right. That's right. And yet, uh, Sure reflects on his legacy. At least he only made the mistake once. These other Republicans want to keep making the exact same mistake. Half the Republicans running for president gave illegal aliens in-state tuition or driver's licenses. <laughs> it's madness. No. But the main point of what Trump is doing, it's putting Americans first. Not the rich, not the Wall Street, not the corporations. And Trump is the only one speaking for Americans on the bad trade deals, on immigration, on putting America first and not continuing to pay for NATO. Do you think it's a dangerous world or not? Do you think Putin is yes, dangerous? Yes, but I care about keeping it safe here. I don't care about what happens to the Ukraine any more than I think Russia should care what we do to illegals here in Texas. I have an idea. Good luck to the rest of the world, but let's keep America safe. What's the rationale for saying all Muslims should be banned from the United States? Um, the rationale is 9-11, Fort Hood, Boston Marathon, San Bernardino Community Center, all, any number of, of other terrorist acts, and but why when they're it? not, I haven't finished, I'm still answering, when they're not committing terrorism, flying planes into our skyscrapers, um, and shooting up innocent civilians, what are they, what good are they? They're on welfare. They're committing small petty crimes. They are completely you're ripping off the government. Ev every person, no, it doesn't have to be everyone, every, but most every, of them. You're saying that everyone who is born and raised in Islam no, it's not and who practices no, that religion should be, should be man. considered. Well, why do we need, we don't need any of them. Frankly, we don't need the British. I don't know why we're blocking the British and letting, letting in Somalis who go to Minnesota and 90% are on welfare. Most don't have jobs. The crime rate's gone through the roof. They can't afford to pay for their own people. Um, I don't think we need the British to come in, but if we're, if we got to let somebody in, I know. How about people who speak our language and won't immediately go on welfare and some percentage of whom will commit terrorist acts. We've been very uh, the, generous to the rest of the world. It's got to stop now. America needs a little me time. Your prediction, therefore, is that Donald Trump will win. 
I think so. I'm not as confident about the presidency. And why is that? It's not because of women voters. It's a question of whether the Democratic Party has already changed the country enough. Oh, and by the way, do not imagine Democrats are for mass immigration to the third world because of great humanitarian concerns. Post-1970 immigrants vote 8 to 2 for the Democrats. They've changed the electorate. California, where we're sitting now, used to give us Republican presidents, Reagan, Nixon. No Republicans getting elected statewide anymore. Well, they're They've been, this is Teddy Kennedy's Immigration Act. They're trying to do that to the whole country. So the question is, is it too late? They had it wired. Have they already done it? Are there not enough Americans voting in this election for Trump to win? And in your view, what happens if he loses? It's over. We're going to be homesick for the rest of our lives because America's gone.